everyone, and welcome back to EdTech Classroom. For today's Tech Tuesday, we will be learning some Seesaw tips and tricks to help end the school year and archive this year's content. I've always been a big fan of Seesaw, and this year in particular, teachers across the country have been relying on it as one of their tech platforms for remote learning. And now that the year is over, or almost over, depending on your school or district, it's time to make sure that we close our online classrooms to smooth our transition into the next school year. This video is going to outline some technical steps to smooth your end of year transition with Seesaw. So we will be looking at five end of year Seesaw must do's for teachers. Number one, archiving Seesaw activities. For most teachers, this step will not be super applicable. In fact, unless you plan to have the exact same students in your class next year, this step probably isn't too valuable. That being said, archiving Seesaw activities is a great tool to use during the school year to help declutter your Seesaw feed. Or let's say that you are assigning students summer work through Seesaw. You can archive old activities to allow your students to focus on their assigned summer work. So how do you actually archive your activities on Seesaw? First, we are going to click on the Activities tab. Then we are going to look for the activity that we want to archive. And then lastly, we will click on the dot 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 and then click Archive Activity. Once you've completed these steps, the activity will be in your library still, meaning that you'll still be able to reassign it to students, you'll still be able to assign it to different classes, and you will also continue to be able to view students' responses under Archived. Number two, archiving your Seesaw class. This step is arguably the most crucial tip to end the school year on Seesaw. At the end of the school year, you will need to archive your class. Now, it is super important that you do not delete your class. Instead, we will learn how to archive it. By archiving your class, you will still be able to access its content next year, including student journals and activities. So how do you archive your Seesaw class? First, we're going to click the wrench button in the top right corner. Then we will scroll down and click on archive class. As I mentioned, you'll still be able to view your archived class. To do this, just click on the gear menu right next to your name then click Account Settings and scroll down to Manage Archived Classes. Now you can view your archived class again. Number three, connecting with families on Seesaw. As soon as you archive your class, families will receive an email with a link to download their child's journal. This is an amazing feature so that you don't have to actually individually download student work and email it home to families. Instead, Seesaw does all of the hard work for you. I really love this feature. Um, if you've already connected with families, like I said, they'll receive an automatic email allowing them to download their child's journal as soon as you archive the class. But if you haven't connected with families yet, now would be a really great time to do so. So first you will need to click on the plus families button at the bottom of the screen. Then click turn on family access and then follow the directions on the screen. Number four, do not delete your class, students, or journals. It is absolutely critical that you do not delete your class, your students, or their journals. Always, always archive everything. If you do delete these three things, all student work and class activities will be deleted permanently and Seesaw is unable to retrieve these deleted items. So when in doubt, always archive. And then lastly, if your school or district uses Seesaw, your Seesaw administrator, which is typically an ed tech coach at your school or in your district or your principal, will make sure your students are set up for the next school year. Your Seesaw administrator will most likely add missing student IDs, merge student accounts. So for example, if a student was using Seesaw in your class and in a specialist class too, their work can then be merged to form one journal from the entire school year. This will allow the administrator to then create historical portfolios 
and will ultimately make sure that your students, both your old students and your new students, are ready to go for next year. Thank you so much for watching today's Tech Tuesday tip. I hope you enjoyed learning about these end of year seesaw must do's for teachers. These tips and tricks will help smooth your transition into the next school year. Thanks again, and I'll see you back here next week on Tech Tuesday. Bye friends.